In this video, I'm going to be talking about gene expression assays or multi-gene tumor assays. You may have also heard this called the Oncotype DX. That's a brand name of one of these tests. I'm going to explain what these assays are, should the assay be done on your tumor, and what does it mean for your treatment. Gene expression assays are a way for us to learn more about the personality of the breast cancer that you had or that you have. These tests are done on the tumor itself. These aren't done on your body. And it sounds a lot like genetic testing, so I just want to make it clear that these are assays or tests done on the tumor, and they're different from you having genetic testing. Gene expression assays are done only in people whose tumors are estrogen receptor negative and HER2 negative. If you want to learn more about estrogen receptors, hormone receptors in general, or the HER2 protein, check out our other videos. Why do we do multi-gene tumor assays? Well, we do these in people whose tumors are estrogen receptor positive and HER2 negative to see if chemotherapy is likely to improve your outcome. That is, decrease the risk of the cancer coming back in other parts of the body and see if chemotherapy is even likely to help you. If your lymph nodes are negative, or if you have only one, two, or three lymph nodes, these tests can be very helpful in seeing whether or not chemotherapy is going to improve your outcome. There are other uses of the gene expression assays that are being studied, for example, in people with ductal carcinoma in situ to help decide whether or not radiation therapy is necessary. Stay tuned for more about these. So your tumor's been sent for a, a multi-gene tumor assay or a gene expression assay. Again, they're the same thing. And the results come back. In general, there are several different tests, but in general, the result will come back low, medium, or intermediate or high, low, medium, or high. If the score comes back and the result comes back and it's low, in general, that means not only is the tumor less likely to come back down the road in the future, but also chemotherapy is not as likely to help as if the score comes back high. So I'll go next to high. If the score comes back high, that does mean that the risk of the cancer coming back is higher on the other hand, chemotherapy is more likely to help reduce that risk. What if it comes back in the middle? Well, it depends. If it's intermediate low, or low intermediate, comes back close to the low end, it's very likely that you and your medical team will make a choice together about whether or not chemotherapy is helpful. Some of this will depend on your age. If you've had the Oncotype DX test done on your tumor, Younger women may get greater benefit if their score is in the middle. If you're older, chemotherapy is not as likely to be helpful in the same zone, the same range. If it comes back intermediate but it's closer to high, you're more likely to hear about chemotherapy and hear that it's more likely to help you. So how do we order a multi-gene tumor assay or a gene expression assay? You are Doctors will actually order this test to be done. It needs to be sent away for the test to be done, unless at your hospital they do a similar test or assay on the tumor. But in general, this test is what we call a send out. The tumor will be sent to the lab, and this is ordered again with your consent by your doctor. If it's already been done on your tumor, that means you clearly meet the criteria. If it hasn't been done, Ask your medical team if this test could and should be done on your tumor. What about payment? This test can be quite expensive no matter which type that you have done. In general, insurance covers the test. Medicare is covering the gene expression assays. If you have insurance other than Medicare, you can be put in touch directly with the lab itself and they will set up a payment plan for you. In general, though, we have found that insurance does pay for this test. 
If you want to learn more about gene expression assays, your tumor, and your treatment options, visit yerba.com. If this video was helpful to you, click like and remember to subscribe.